I am Jim Curse, and I am here with Sebastian Reichardt, the creative producer of Dead Island Riptide. So, what does it feel like to be at PAX 2013? It feels awesome. It's very nice to hang around here, see how the fans react to the game. I love it when the fans come up and actually give me feedback, because it, it's good after all this time of development to get direct contact and see that we did it the right way. It's a little bit tiring as well sometimes. Of course, I mean, standing around eight hours a day is not my regular... But we're here for good reason. We're here to show off the game Riptide, which is a sequel to Dead Island, which released on Xbox 360, PS3, and Steam. Uh, I played it on Steam, and I was a fan of the melee combat. I liked the emphasis on melee. I liked the building uh, of weapons. So what is Dead Island Riptide bringing to the table that the first Dead Island didn't deliver upon? Well, first of all, we're very happy with what Dead Island delivered, so we stay definitely with the close combat. But we heard a lot of fans say that they weren't happy with the, with the firearms as they were in the game. So we improved a lot there. We made sure that they have more impact, that there's a little bit more ammunition around. So in case players want to have fun with firearms, they should get their share, but it stays close combat focused. The thing that it really brings new to the table is, for example, the defense missions. We now have a new mission type in there where you have to barricade yourself to protect yourself for a from a horde of zombies. It's a lot of fun and it's uh, very interesting in multiplayer how the dynamics work out because you can place barricades, you can place mines, you can even set up heavy machine guns to defend yourself. But it's always interesting to see how the players interact with each other to make sure that when one of the barricades is broken, how do they react on the um, um, oncoming zombies. So it's a really cool, a really cool new mission type that is in the game. Well, survival and zombies goes hand in hand, so that works out. Is it still four-player co-op? Yes, we kept four-player co-op. We are very happy about the co-op, so we did everything to improve it. Uh, all, all kind of bugs have been fixed. We have a new communication system in. You simply point your, your reticle into a direction, press a button. The game will then accordingly say something to the other players, like move over here, kill this target, go into the boat, drive the boat stuff like that. So it's very easy to communicate with the players and actually give them pointers on the minimap where to go. What was some of the biggest feedback you got from the first game that you've taken and iterated upon and made it a part of Dead Island Riptide? The strongest one, I think, was the positive feedback how much fun it is to drive with a car into a bunch of zombies. That's very true. We get this a lot and we love to hear that because we liked it too. So. What we did is, with the flooded island of Palanai, where the game pl takes place this time, we also added a boat and made sure that the dynamic of the boat is completely different from that of the car. Because now the driver sits in the back, and so whenever you look, when you're driving, you can see the other players in front of you and can shout commands towards them. And the dynamic there is amazing. We're really happy how zombies that come up from the deep and try to grab you out of the boat work on the players. Yeah, that could be very fun. All right, so you guys are notorious <clears throat> for making just heart-stabbing, tear-jerking uh, trailers. And I will say that the gameplay experience of Dead Island, albeit a very fun one, does not elicit the, the emotion of the sadness. So do you think that's because you're getting to the island after it's dead and now it's just about killing zombies? Or is Dead Island Riptide maybe bringing some more narrative uh, weight to it? <clears throat> It's important to us that the trailers are seen as a display of atmosphere that players can get out of the game. Because what we always experience is that the most important stuff the players get out of Riptide, is a, or in general Dead Island, is, is really what they experienced on the island. And those trailers reference to that moment when you couldn't save your friend in multiplayer because you just didn't make it in time. Or you were pretty clumsy with a grenade. <laughs> so, and you blew up your daughter backwards. We don't have the daughter in game, but you still could blow up your your friend, or maybe you're playing with your daughter. Cool, awesome. So, are we going to see it on uh, the same platforms this time? Is it going to be on Steam again? Same platforms, Steam again. What about PlayStation 4? Is that is maybe going to make a port over there? It's not, no. It's those three platforms. No, and no other information at this point. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. This has been James with Curse. And this video is brought to you by Alienware.